Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you our, our research about polyvinyl butyral as a significant material used by additive manufacturing. The additive manufacturing is the computer-controlled sequential layering of materials to create three-dimensional shapes. The most common areas of application of additive manufacturing are in the aerospace industry, tooling, and engineering, automotive, and the medical in the medical industry. The most benefits of additive manufacturing we see in the accelerated prototyping, customization, energy saving, environment benefits, inventory stocks reductions, manufacturing and assembly, material waste reduction and production flexibility. The aim of our research is that the waste of raw materials of windscreen films thus represents new possibilities for its application to various areas of industry. Due to the already definite advantages of this material, characteri characterized by available processing technologies and low input cost, it creates and will create a high potential for usability. The development tendencies of the material are both in the field of study and testing and their direct application in the practice. As a part of research into the recycling polyvinyl butyral, we plan to minimize problems with waste material from car windshields, reuse in the production processes, and by processing recycled polyvinyl butyral into new materials, to implement them into selective production of engineering products, not only there. Polyvinyl butyral is our key material and polyvinyl butyral which forms a safety interlayer in car window or building windows through recovery technology, mainly in material recovery, takes the form of flakes that have dimensions of two, from 2 up 20 millimeters and thickness of 0 0.5 to 1.5 millimeters. The polyvinyl butyral recycled in this way was contaminated like dust, glass fragments, so it was necessary to wash and dry the material before starting laboratory work. Uh, laboratory work. As a part of the work, polyvinyl butyral in the form of granulates was used for our research. As we can see this in the previous picture, uh, number three, then we used the uh, polyvinyl butyral in the granulate, uh, granulated uh, form. The shape of recycled polyvinyl butyral, uh, we used the granulate color, was, was uh, white, uh, white and gray sized from 20 to 30 millimeters. The purity was more than uh, 97 percent, percent uh, impurity content less than 3 percent. Um, residual humidity uh, circa uh, 2%. The proportion of glass contents particle it was less than 2%. And in the next slide we can see uh, the analysis we used by our research and it is going about differential scanning calorimetry. Uh, differential scanning calorimetry or shortly DS uh, C uh, or differential compensation calorimetry is a method in which the thermal properties of materials are examined. The method is widely used to determine melting points, glass transitions, and crystallization of various materials. It finds specific application in the study of polymers, emulsions, reactions, kinetics, or thermal conductivity of materials. The standard temperature range of the instrument is from minus 100 to plus. 600 uh, Celsius degree. Uh, differential uh, scanning calorimetry method of measurement consists of a content heating, cooling rate of two vessels. One vessel is empty, it's uh, no, uh, uh, we know it uh, like a reference sample and the other contains the sample. Uh, the control unit, in this case computer, constantly ensures a constant heating rate of both samples through the experiment. Typically, it is going about 10 Celsius uh, degree 
um, pro, uh, minutes. Since one vessel is empty and other contains the sample, the heat flux to the individual vessels uh, will vary due to composition of the sample and the fast change taking place in the sample. In differential scanning calorimetry, we focused on determining the glass transition and melting point. The weight of analyzed analyze sample was 9 mg. The test temperature ranged from minus 50 degree to 300 Celsius degree. The measurement process itself began by cooling the sample from minus 180 Celsius degree and then heating it. The key temperature to start the analysis was a minus 50 Celsius degree. The sample is heated only after reaching a, tempera in a temperature of plus 300 Celsius degree. By using, using this uh, analysis of differential scanning calorimetry, the sample is subjected to linear heating and thus to the heat flow rate as we can see uh, in the graph. The heat flux is proportional uh, to, the, uh, to the specific heat. Inside the Measure, measuring device at the internal temperature equal to the room temperature. Uh, it is going about 20 uh, Celsius degree. Two uh, symmetrical vessels were stored. The instrument includes a residence thermometer and a heating element built into the sample carrier and serves as the primary control of the system. The following graphs represent the data obtained after differential scanning calorimetry analysis of recycled polyvinyl butyral samples. The temperature of the sample is maintained isothermally with the reference. Such an amount of energy is needed to maintain isothermal conditions. The, the course of plotted as a functional, function, function of time or temperature. Small samples were used for analysis. The material is placed on a metal pad which reduce the thermal gradient to minimum. With, within the analysis, it was possible to use high heating rates to ensuring a high resolution of heating and therefore the obtained temperature range. Additive manufacturing is one of the basic supporting technologies that shapes new approaches to manufacturing and the products and plans of the future. At the present and in the future, not excluding the priority will be respect and incorporation into the product design of customer requirements. Uh, we know it uh, as uh, mass customization. The use of recycled materials in additive production or in additive manufacturing is conditioned mainly by the qualitative properties of the input material. Our priority is to work with the plastic waste which we recycle using appropriate technology like a plastic flux or granulate. Greater design freedom leads to the new generation of products like, like uh, almost unlimited design freedom can bring a wide range of benefits in different areas like automotive and aerospace industry, healthcare, uh, machinery and equipment, sports equipment and the lifestyle. By our research, we used recycled polyvinyl butyrol. It is an important component in producing on the new materials. It is characterized by very good elasticity, adhesion to various surfaces, good water resistance. The advantages of material is high compatibility with other polymers and very good possibilities in producing composite materials. It was uh, these properties that were key to the possibility of using polyvinyl butyrol in ed additive manufacturing. Uh, our research is focused, was focused on testing the physical chemical properties of recycled polyvinyl butyrol using differential scanning calorimetry. By our research uh, the impl and in by implementation of the material from secondary raw materials and their applications, 
the possible final parts fully support the economic and environmental aspects which is so important, not only today, but we have to see to the future. Thank you so much for your attention and in case of any questions, please feel free to contact me via my email. Thank you so much.